Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today, it's quite a busy day. I ended up uh, uh, removing and installing a transmission in a Jeep Commander and then helped out one of our other guys to get this engine out of this expedition or whatever. Uh, he was almost there, but he was just kind of hung up on a couple things. But at any rate, today is going to be a purchase that I made off of eBay. Uh, I looked like I was the only bidder, and for the amount that this specific item cost, I really could not see passing it up. Uh, Heather's already kind of opened the package. I haven't looked at it yet physically to see what all it came with. Pictures can be deceiving, especially when you're shopping pre-owned or used items, especially tools, off of eBay. So I'm going to finish this beer, this first beer that I got going on, have a cigarette, Relax for a minute, and then we're gonna turn the camera to the uh, to what I got. So we'll be right back. All right. So what did I pick up off of eBay? First, because you know we had to. At any rate, it was packaged up very nicely. Okay, I'll give the guy credit. I really appreciate it, guy. I appreciate it. Any rate, what I picked up from eBay, yes, I know I already have one, but I wanted a better one. I wanted certain features and certain qualities. I picked this one up. This happens to be a Snap-on EED M525E True RMS DVOM Auto Ranging. I love auto ranging multimeters. I really do. I know some people don't like auto ranging. I do. I don't want to dick with the settings. I don't want to try to figure out uh, how, how much I'm looking for. I like the fact that it tells me right now. That's what I like. But at any rate, you got a couple of test leads. Now, this is a pre owned kit and the. Uh, the seller, maybe he might not have been the original owner, but the seller only had one of the alligator clips. That's okay. I can use that as a ground clamp, so that way I could test with the other one. And it's not difficult for me to get a couple more of these later down the road, even though right now we don't have a snap-on rep. But first things first, does it work? You know, he showed pictures of it, but we got to test it, right? So let's test it. We'll plug that in, plug the com or the ground in. I always like to start off on volts DC. It's just my, that's where I start off with when I test the DVOM. To make sure everything's on the up and up. You know, you can give the leads a wiggle. There's going to be some wind noise and whatever. Things are going to jump around. But now you got to put them together, see if that goes down to zero. Or ground voltage or whatever. Now we'll give the leads another wiggle and make sure that figure doesn't jump all over the place. Appears to be good. Let's go ahead and set it on ohms. You can do the same exact thing on ohms. We'll test the ohms. Again, zero. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You'll get a little bit of wind noise, but not a lot. All right, cool, cool. Now we got to check the amp because there's a, a built in uh, inline fuse in case you got too much amperage going through it and you end up blowing the meter. So we're going to switch this over to amps. We're going to move one of our test leads over here, fuse 10 amp max, from here to com. We're going to plug this into the com, and simply, we'll just take this, and we'll stab it home. Good to go. Zero amps running through it, we don't have a problem. So, inline fuse is good, ohms are good, voltage is good. That's a quick, down and dirty way of being able to test your DVOM. We'll get into some of the other features and benefits of this DVOM as I get a chance to play with it. I used to have one a couple years back. I ended up selling it back to the uh, Snap-on tool rep to bring down my balance before he ended up um, losing his route. And so as a result, I've been using the Klein for the last, I don't know, six months or so. But at any rate, I thought this was perfect. Now. These things go for almost like 400, maybe a little bit more after tax and whatnot if you're in a taxable state. But 400 bucks plus tax, 
for the most part. And I picked this up for $120 plus $8 shipped. Hey, one man's junk is another man's treasure, am I right? So, to me, this was a DVOM that said, hey, I've been in the world of automotive, I don't feel like I've got my full use, and I got it for a killer, killer deal. Now let's talk about some things that you need to look for before you start buying stuff from eBay. Alright, so, like I said, one man's junk is another man's treasure. I'm getting a lot of use out of this, Max. Thank you. Uh, not everything has to be bought off the tool truck. I think we've talked about this a handful of times in uh, previous videos. Uh, you know, there's other places that you can buy stuff similar to this. You're not always going to find them in a pawn shop. Um, you know, and you're not always going to find what you're looking for off of Amazon. eBay is not a bad option. Um, it can be tricky. My recommendation was as far as eBay purchasing, and I'm sure a lot of people that shop on eBay will give me the same recommendation. If you're going to buy an item from a seller, make sure they're credible. Um, this seller happened to have like 998 sales, and he had a total of like, I think it was like 89.99% positive feedback, so it gave him like a four and a half star rating. And he had a couple of handful of things here and there. Some of them were tools. It looked like he was taking a lot of the pictures from the inside of some kind of store that he has, uh, but you know, maybe sells them online as well. So he had really good feedback. I was really surprised that no one else was bidding. There was two people watching. I'm assuming I might have been the second person, uh, but I was the only one to bid. The uh, starting bid was for 120 bucks plus eight dollars shipping. And uh, I placed the bid, like with a day and a half left. And day and a half later, it said I was the winner. And I was like, sweet. And I think they give you something like, uh, uh, what is it, like four to eight days to pay for the merchandise that you auctioned or paid for through an auction. Uh, I just paid for it right away. I wanted it shipped directly to my house as fast as I could. So. When I saw, was it on Monday afternoon, I saw that I had won the bid. Uh, it got shipped and showed up today. So Thursday of all days, hell yeah. So leaves me uh, tomorrow to play with it. I'll swap that out with my client, bring my client back here to the house. I like having a DVOM here at the house, you know, but I, I really like having a DVOM at work too. And the reason why I took my uh, client to work specifically, even though I don't do a lot of diagnostics, um, what was it? I think there was one day the the shop owner, he had his DVOM and it was giving me some false readings when I was trying to test uh, a wire from the computer going to an alternator and the readings were kind of all over the place and I tried to test the meter like you saw in the, the uh, video clip there of me playing with this one and I couldn't get a steady zero so I thought maybe the tester pins were uh, broken or something and he came out and did a couple of tests with it and the leads were bad. So we had to scrap them, go grab another set. Luckily I had another set on site and we were able to get a positive reading. Found out there was nothing wrong with the uh, the wire and it was in the computer. So boom, 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 dun, dun, dun. So I like that availability of having a DVOM on hand, especially like if somebody else's equipment fails because if you're in a shop where there's not that many people uh, working there, or that not that many people have that specific tool, it's kind of nice to be the guy, the backup guy, if you will, you know? Second string, you know what I mean? So I like that because that gives me an opportunity to pull mine out and get involved. And I love being involved in that kind of stuff. I love learning a little something new every single day. Now, don't get it wrong, I'm a mechanic through and through. I love the nuts and bolts of things. I love utilizing all the freaking tools in my toolbox on a day to day. But there is something kind of intriguing about poking around and learning the why. That, there is something intriguing about that to me. I've always been intrigued by it. Uh, so maybe one day I'll get a little bit better at it. But for the meantime, hey, I decided to pick this thing up for a fraction of the cost. and letting you guys know out there that there are a lot of good tools still available on eBay. Maybe the mechanic got fired. Maybe he's retired. Maybe it was a son of a, de of a dead father and he's clearing out his toolbox. Maybe it's just some... 
um, you know, secondhand store or pawn shop from back east or whatever that's putting some items up on eBay to clear out their inventory. Whatever the case may be, you can find a lot of really good pre-owned stuff and some of the people are, you know, they take really good pictures and, and they seem to be credible. So just be uh, looking to see how credible they are uh, by looking up that seller's information and, and what kind of reviews he got. That's all I got for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. We'll see you next time. Deuces.